A good channel in this question is to draw your square piece of paper. And then we're going to imagine folding it in half. So I'm going to give it a length of A. I'm going to fold it in half this way. So it's going to be a half A. But then because I fold it in half again to form another rectangle, so it's got it's going to be, it's not going to be this way because that will create a square. It's going to be also basically I've now got rid of that and I'm just left with this. Fold in half again. I'm going to be left with this piece of paper here. And it's going to have height of a quarter A. Right, then we're told the perimeter of this um, second rectangle is 30 centimetres. So I can do A plus A, which is 2A. And then a quarter A plus a quarter A is going to be a half A. And set that equal to 30. So that's going to be 5 over 2. And therefore, 5a is going to equal 60, a is going to equal 12, and the original square will therefore have area 12 times 12, it's going to be 144. Now that is how I did it. I think that's a pretty solid method. The solutions give like a bit of guidance. They say, well, to avoid, um, to avoid fractions, you could actually call the original side 4a, and then you'll get a here. Of course, that will work out a bit easier. Then we're going to get 10a equals 30 and a equals 3 and therefore 4a is equal to 12 but it's easy saying that after you've done it but yeah I take that on board really if we're splitting things into four then why don't we call the small bit a and then the larger bit some multiple it will be just slightly simpler okay in any case 144 centimeters squared good